Where's Mason? What do they mean? Hey! Who are you people? What do you want from me? You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. Craptastic Jack here, uh, back with another Need for Speed news video. Two of these within two weeks. Kill me now. But yeah, today we're gonna be talking about uh, the Need for Speed numbers system, <laughs> Dewey Decimal system. What the? Today we're gonna be talking about all the numbers <laughs> and what they mean. Uh, we're gonna do some heavy math here, so if you're not good at math, um, click off now. But yeah, uh, so recently the Need for Speed um, Twitter account has been spamming 510 all over the place and um, I don't understand really what's going on. Um, I'm gonna break down these numbers and we are going to, together, um, figure out what they mean. Alright, so here we go. 5, 10. You, you, I'm in America, so you switch that around, you have 10, 5, October 5th. Oh. That was actually very easy. So that means that tomorrow, October 5th, we could see the reveal, the revelation of a new Need for Speed game. And by revelation of a new Need for Speed game, I mean probably the Hot Pursuit Remastered. Which has literally been leaked six ways from Sunday. All over the place. So yeah, uh, here's the image of the uh, box art. It's a very sexy box art at that. It looks really cool, the remastered and everything, that looks nice. But then the screenshots look exactly the same from Need for Speed Hot Pursuit from 2010. Granted, this is a game that looks fucking awesome even 10 years later after its release. So not really the biggest game that they've needed to update, you know? They really didn't need to remaster this game. But I'm kind of glad they are because some of the rumors are saying that there's cross-play uh, that's coming out on Nintendo Switch and hopefully with that, an arcade mode. Imagine if this game had an arcade mode where you could just select any track, any car, car class, any type of event and go. That would add so much more replayability to this game. A game that already has a lot of replayability. Hot Pursuit 2010, hopefully with its crossplay multiplayer intact, will keep, will literally revitalize the PvP scene in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. PvP in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is some of the best PvP in any Need for Speed game. Um, so I'm really glad that they're remastering it, bringing it back, and hopefully with crossplay enabled, we'll be able to play all, or with people all around the world on all different platforms. Those are my thoughts on the leaks. I hope, I'm not getting myself too hyped for it. It's probably just a reskin version of Hot Pursuit 2010. Probably not much has changed, um, but I'm not getting my hopes up for it. I am excited though for PvP and obviously cross-platform PvP. And hopefully all the DLC and everything is in the game as well, because on PC, the PC never got any of the DLC, so hopefully we do end up getting the DLC. And I'm going to be covering this game a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed the original Hot Pursuit. I mean, I, you probably can't see it, but I literally have a Hot Pursuit poster right here, right next to me. I really enjoyed Hot Pursuit 2010, so I'm definitely going to enjoy this remaster, as long as it isn't broken or stupid or poo-poo pee-pee. But that's it for me tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, if you want to see more Need for Speed content on this channel, I've got some videos in the works. But that's it for me tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Also, follow me on Twitch. That's where I do a lot of my gaming now, is over on Twitch. Um, when I'm not uploading, I'm gaming on Twitch, probably. Twitch.tv forward slash CraftasticJack for any Need for Speed stuff and racing game stuff, open world stuff. I'm going to be streaming a lot of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on there, and I, <laughs> I can't breathe anymore. But yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of Hot Pursuit 2010 on there. But that's it for me tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in my next video. What the fuck was that? Have a good one, guys.